That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I was in secondary school the last time Labour were in charge. Were you in secondary school in 2010? Was it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, I was. Back I was when I was. Year year 10. Yeah, same. Just a year above from me, chubby boy. Outside the, outside, what was it? I was uh, hanging outside uh, the shops after school with a bag of Doritos, chili heat wave, and a cola ice lolly and one other thing. Oh yeah, it was a big bar of chocolate cookie crumble galaxy version. Very specific. Yeah, no, those used to, those used to might be my three combos. Well, every single day. And I used to get this twenty-five pecan soft drink as well. Oh, th- those those drinks, they should, yeah, they shouldn't be legal. Well, why should they? What What do you think about them? Why should they be illegal? They're sugar. It's twenty-five p Coke. That that alone <laughs> should show you that it's probably it's probably not to be put inside your body. Not that it stopped us when we were young, but when you think about it, we used to eat some crazy things. I used to eat chocolate and crisp and stuff like that for breakfast on the way to school. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Yeah. I used to at least wait until... No, wait, 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 wait. I used to have a lunch... No, break time. Break time was at like 10, 11 o'clock. 10, 11, yeah. That's yeah, mad. No, I, yeah, it's <laughs> mad, mad. Wow. But then think of our diet when we were younger, before man like... What's his name? Jamie Oliver. Yeah, but literally the year that I got into school, they just... Our uh, secondary school, that is. They just switched it from chips and beans like every day to all this random ass <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah like salad and they took the vending machine was the worst part like that's one of the coolest things about secondary school is that you finally get to use a vending machine I remember on it was like a taster day just before we went into secondary school it was during summer and they had these vending machines that were Coke, Pepsi and I used to get so excited uh, so, simply because I was a uh, young diabetic but as I got to on, on the first day we just got there and it was like what appetizer and all these random brands that nobody heard of hurt me i used to get my fix of coke cans from the school vendor people used to sell it in the in, in the playground i was one of them i don't know Wait, if you remember of course yeah. not uh, to be fair we weren't friends in school so it's still not friends now <laughs> we're not friends we're bros that's why let me finish it innit? oh wow come on bro um moist yeah <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've, I've actually, I've explained our story to a, to a bunch of people before. They're like, how did you and Rai become friends? And I'm like, the funny thing is I've known Rahi since we were in school. We went to the same school, but we were never friends. And then <laughs> we ended up going to the same university and became friends there because we went to the same school, <laughs> but we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think that happens with a lot of. I think it's really f- interesting. A lot, a lot of people ha- have a similar pattern where, like, they might not be friends during school, or whatnot, but they do end up becoming best friends afterwards. And I don't know why. It's very interesting. Yeah, have you heard of that? Like, a lot of people. I've, I've, no, I've seen no, that only like, before, where people haven't been friends before, but they do. The only place I've seen that happen is in community when uh, Troy and Annie went to the same high school, but. You didn't know her when then obviously they became friends in, in college, but that's obviously fake. That's not real life. I've, I've seen it happen in real life, but it, it's re- I find it interesting, man. Yeah, us. We're, we're the real life version. I was the cool guy, uh, the cool, you know, popular guy, and you were the fat, not known. I, I'm not going to debate that. I, I glowed recently. <laughs> that's actually joking, but yeah. Nah, it's true. It's true. I glowed up very recently. But we were different years, so that maybe that's also why we weren't friends. Nah, but then I was still boys with uh, people be- down below. You just, yeah, you just probably just didn't have the clout. <laughs> well, I didn't have the clout. <laughs> yeah, oh, you didn't yeah. have the clout. Nah, I had clout. I might have been fat in school, you but did, I still you had did, clout. You did, you, you did not have clout. I had clout, bro. You did not have clout. I had just clout. No way. No way. I had clout. I, of course I'm going to have clout, bro. I was deputy house captain. So what? Oh my gosh. No way. Not deputy house captain. <laughs> 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 oh my god that, that's a role that i didn't have anything to like i did nothing with that like it's just a role to put on my cv you know i was i was deputy um sports captain no deputy head sports captain so there was a head sports captain and then i was a deputy so we had to we were part of the senior prefect team who had to wear shirts and tie every day to school. So like with the head boy and uh, oh, I remember that stuff. Yeah, yeah. there was like a group like they, How did basically you feel? It was like normal prefects. It was it was I felt elite because I had to wear because there was no one else wore shirt and tie uh, to school, but uh, I had to wear shirt elite? and tie to school. We used to look at these like we used to be like ah oh, look at these. We had all the we had all the all the privileges. 
yeah now i was happy when i got my Jesse role that i got to wear a nice little polo shirt still because i didn't like wearing them shirts and ties at the time which is really funny actually because now i love wearing a shirt and tie and people who know me will know that i love wearing shirt and just formal wear but i remember in school i used to hate that it's probably just a form of rebellion yeah because you don't yeah so i i really didn't want to wear it i liked it i liked wearing it because i remember because I, I live near i live near a hospital so i think people used to think that i was like a medical student or a doctor i mean probably not because i was like 16 so i probably wasn't even if i thought i was that old but you I felt important walk. though yeah i felt like i was one of them when i was walking past the hospital to school what you look like a little <laughs> boy in a shirt and tie you thought, yeah but you think people like, are gonna look at you be like yeah that's a big man right there <laughs> no 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 not a big man. and if you're gonna look at me be like oh he looks like a doctor like <laughs> What, this 12 year old walking in a shirt and tie. I was, I was 16, the funny actually. thing is, yeah, we, we don't know, but hold on, like 16, yeah. If I look at a 16 year old now, they look like a 10 year old to me. Like they just look like a little baby's like. So yeah, we might have looked, we I, might have looked, we might have felt and looked like we were old at the time, but. But people, yeah, people would have thought, look at that child. Just think about how when I was in my final year in undergrad, I used to look at the first years like little kids. Like they used to look like. Like fresh faced little kids. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, when you're walking down in that shirt and tie, yeah, you look like a like a little kid. 